In the next few minutes, I'm going to talk to you about how we clone animals. So a clone is something which is genetically identical to another clone or to its parent. So there are several processes we can use to clone animals, and those are adult cell cloning and embryonic transplants. Firstly, let's look at adult cell cloning. So the process for this is, first, you take an unfertilized egg cell and you take out the nucleus. This egg cell is then injected with the nucleus from an adult body cell belonging to the animal which is to be cloned. You then put an electric shock on that egg cell to stimulate it to divide. And once the embryo has grown into a larger ball of cells, it is implanted into a surrogate or host mother. So the embryo, which is a clone of the original adult cell, will continue to develop in the womb of the surrogate. The second method is embryo transplants. Developing embryos can be split into smaller groups of cells before differentiation, which is cell specialization, to give many smaller and identical embryos that can then be put into host mothers. A classic example of this would be a farmer fertilising egg cells produced by his best cow with sperm taken from his prize bull. The farmer would then split the resulting embryo and implant the clones into the uteruses or wombs of other cows. So let's just go over that process of adult cell cloning again because it's quite complicated. So one example of this was Dolly the sheep, which was the first animal ever to be cloned. So how did that happen? First, you take the unfertilized egg and remove the nucleus. The empty egg cell is injected with a nucleus from an adult body cell belonging to the organism which is to be cloned, so Dolly. An electric shock is applied to the egg cell, which stimulates it to divide. And once the embryo has grown into a large ball of cells, it is implanted into a surrogate mother. And the embryo, which is a clone of the original adult body cell, will continue to develop in the womb of the surrogate.